Paul Jeffrey to the inside. Okay. They put the foot down. It's a good start. Paul Jeffrey got the jump and also got the two front wheels off the track. As we go through turn one and into the back straight for the first time, Troy Little is the race leader. About uh, what we expected as they swing around the top corner, Troy Little is out in front and car number 20 looking good. Do we look back to Sam Walsh who's under pressure from McCorkingdale as they go up into the top corner? Oh, upside down is Ooh. McCorkingdale. Boing, boing. And I think that might actually be uh, a chequered flag situation. Jason Sides, the American star, running the Cricky Motorsports Toyota Genuine Parts, car number two. In this race, he'll start on the outside of the second row. It's Taylor Johnson on pole, McCorkendale, the much travelled Danny Reedy. Good to see him at Sydney Speedway as well. Underway, McCorkendale leads Sides into the first couple of corners on the clayway at the present time. McCorkendale, the youngster in car 69, leads the American. I'm not aware of McCorkendale having won a heat race here before. So this will be a big moment if you can pull it off and defeat one of the world's best sprint car drivers in the process. I was about to say Jason Sides, who came top five in the World of Outlaws Championship 2010 this year. Not far to go for McCorkendale. Makes another error, dropping off the cushion. Obviously, that would be a lethal scenario at a typical Speedway venue with the perimeter of the track lined by a concrete wall. So... McCorkendale, off turn number four, final time, car 69 takes victory. Heat two of the BBX Spring Nationals, between McCorkendale on pole, Adard Laws, Campbell, Young, Gessner, Loudon, Thompson, Green, Dumsney, out of position number 10. But the width of it has been shortened up by a couple of metres, the fireworks erupt, signifying a start in the Spring Nationals. McCorkendale stands on the gas. Adard, best to begin on the outside. And Peters, good night here, continues in the main event. He leads already by 10 car lengths in advance of Daryl Campbell, who got away well. McCorkendale is third. We go on board with Ian Loudon. Ian Loudon who came off about the fourth row. McCorkendale ahead of him. And this is Cameron Gessner. You can now see it. 68 up on the inside. Good move by the lanky Queenslander. There's 69, McCorkendale. And now we check out the action on board with Max. Lies in second, Robbie Farr third. Farr will be hoping and praying for a stoppage. Trevor Green, Max Dumsney now on screen. Ten laps to go, 35 horse a distance, 25 in the box. Farry overcooks it going into turn one. Let's stay that way. Can John McCorkendale produce a miracle here? It would be a dream come true for the youngster. Farr has a look up on the inside of Laws. Laws has not given up the chase on McCorkendale. And 69, car number 69, John McCorkendale takes the Spring Nationals at Tyre Power Sydney Speedway. What a win. Laws second, good drive by him. In advance of Robbie Farr, Jason Sides and Mitchell Dunsney. Taking out your first ever feature win, the BBX Spring Nationals, $10,000 to win. How good does that feel? Absolutely excellent. Um, uh, I couldn't ask for a better, better meet to win. We really, really needed the money, so it's great. Little Birdie told me you turned up tonight, you only had $100 in your racing account. You've now got $10,100. I know, I had $100 left. I couldn't even buy a right rear tonight. Um, so to walk away with $10,000 means we can come back more and more through the year. A fine performance tonight to win the BBX Sprint EPM Eastern Daylight Savings Time. On behalf of Rod Britton, I'm David Tapp. Thank you for being with us tonight.